What's up you guys, it's me Hunter Ivy and this is Connect National Forest. And I am camping here for like a couple days. So yeah, <laughs> camping here for like four days to be exact. But anyway, uh, I'm going to see what I can find around here. I'm also not going to, uh, going to do this for all four days, but I'm also going to head somewhere else too, like the uh, safe forest in Florida. And also and do a maybe do a beach trip and stuff. But anyway, let's con continue with some herping here in Connecticut National Forest. Looks like to be some turtle eggs. Oh, I see a shell here. Yeah, I see some turtle eggs right here. Looks like someone got, looks like a creature must have got through them. Or maybe a turtle's gonna already hatch and into that water. I just missed that. Something splashed in that water. It could be a fish. Alright, well, there's some education for you. These are turtle eggs, I believe. I guess these are box turtles. Or maybe Galapagos tortoise. Wait, <clears throat> uh, ghost there. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, Those tortoise, yeah, those gopher tortoise, gopher tortoise, yeah, gopher tortoise. These could be gopher tortoise eggs or maybe box turtles. We, I'm not quite sure. But there are gopher tortoises here in Connecticut National Forest. These could be. Yeah, in the background, you hear some frogs chirping there. There's a lot of frogs chirping right there. Anyway, these look like they're just co eggs. Look like these could be like. Uh, Box turtle eggs, or it could be some gopher turtle, gopher tortoise eggs. Okay, so uh, continue on. More turtle eggs or tortoise eggs. Every time I walk around, I see more and more of these eggs. I was getting when I was getting them. I hear something. I'm gonna check it out. This looks like to be a gopher tortoise burrow, I believe. Maybe. And look at here. If you look very closely, there's a, a lot of water in there. and some tap holes in there. I never expect this. <laughs> Interesting tap hole in there. Can you see the tap holes? I'm trying to shine my light to them so you can see them. There, there's some tap holes. <laughs> frogs, frogs, frogs. Always has to be frogs. There's a frog. I'm not sure what kind of frog that is. If I had surface, then I'll know what kind of frog that is. I'll probably look it up when I get back on the road. Anyway, there's the first frog out here in Connecticut National Forest. That is actually pretty cool. See a frog here. That is so cool. I'm trying to get a good shot of it, but my shadow's in the way. Just a shot of the way. There we go. That's what you bumped into. That's what I bumped into uh, today. Or it's already night. These are actually um, golden silk orb weavers. Their bite is painful, and I just bump into a web. That's how I believe it's a female. And I think there's a male here somewhere, too. God, these frogs are loud. Oh. Uh, anyway, I keep on bumping into these spiders all the time. These spiders are everywhere, and these spiders get pretty huge. And they're also called a banana spider. <laughs> Guys, frogs are us. Chirping and chirping and chirping and chirping and chirping. Now I'm getting bit by mosquitoes here. <sighs> but anyway, I'm trying to do an education here. Uh, this is a golden silk orb weaver. They're one of the most common spires that we have here in National Forests and stuff. And 
yeah, I just bumped into its web. Yeah, it's a female. I bumped into her web. But anyway, these spiders will bite if they are if they feel threatened, and they're called a banana spider for a reason. They like to you know hide in bananas because because according to a shipment of bananas from South America, that's actually made these spiders more common. And they're not just common in America; they're also common in everywhere else, uh, except for Antarctica. There are some species in uh, Australia, I believe, for what I noticed. But anyway, uh, there you go. Golden silk orb weaver. Ooh, that uh, tripping is loud. Anyway, there you go. a frog. I'm not sure what kind of frog this is. It looks familiar. It looks like the same one I came across before. But like I said, if I have service, then I'll look it up. Yeah, another frog for you. Kind of shut for us. I can barely see it because of the shadows in my way. Yeah. There it is, another frog at night. Good morning. See Hunter Ivy once again. I'm still here in Connecticut National Forest. Yeah, I just <laughs> last night I was trying to find some more creatures, but it was so dark. One time I got lost, and but at least I managed to get back to my campsite safe and sound. Ouch! Swear my toe. But anyway, here I am back again, herping, and I'm going to do. Find some more creatures if I can. All right. No snakes yet, but I do have found a toad. I've seen these toads jumping around. I'm pretty sure it's a Fowler's toad. Maybe I don't know. I don't know every toad, but almost every toad here in Alabama is the same. I mean, there the southern toads they they, they they get pretty big. And flower toads they range to different colors. The red ones are also dark ones. I've seen the flower toad. Well, I'll look and see when I look it up and everything. Yeah, so there you go. It's probably an American toad or a flower toad or probably a southern toad. Either way, either one. But anyway, um, there's to there's to here's a toad in the National Forest. I've come across like small ones too. Very tiny ones, like the you know, side of Tic Tac. Yeah, they're very tiny to see. Well, it's nice to see this one up close. Well, I'm gonna keep looking around and see what I find else here in the forest. Came across this very interesting fungus. I'll tell you one thing, Connecticut National Forest does have some pretty interesting fungus I had never seen before. I've seen some pretty cool fungus before, like, for example, I see a coral like fungus in a swamp. Uh, days ago. It was pretty cool. I'll show you a picture of it when you get a chance to. So I'm, if you want to see it, you can, you can see it on my Instagram, which is Ivy Hunter. But anyway, um, I just want to show you this pretty cool fungus I see in the background. It's pretty cool. You can see this view of Connecticut Natural Forest, the hiker trail. It's pretty cool. Very unique and very beautiful indeed. Beautiful here in the National Forest. This is why I pull out the water. This is a water beetle larvae. So, let me give you some education about water beetle larvae. You see that tail at the end? That tail is actually used to breathe in the air from the water. So, oops. You, you, and these insects don't have gills. They don't have gills. They do. They do have a air. They do have air going from their tail. So yeah, that's how much to pull them out. And he was just you know in the uh, water. That's how I pull them out because I thought it looked like a snake, but no, it's not a snake. It's actually some water beetle larvae. I'm gonna put him back in the water so he'll be so stress. So he's being attacked by ants. Let me grab him and. Get my way. Here's another fungus. If you can see it, it's all over the leaf. I have never seen anything like this before. I've never seen like fungi like this all over the leaf. It's very interesting. Very unique and cool. See some fungi over a leaf like that. 
probably see some pretty cool fungi here in this forest. That's a pretty cool fungi out there. Pretty cool. It's like spiders already. Uh, these, but it's not really spiders. These are this is fungi. You see from the spores all over the leaves. This leaf is covered with fungi. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Continue my trip. Or in Buck Lake, it's a frog. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of frog it is, but I want to get back to my home place, so I'll tell you what it could be. It's a really interesting frog, I'd say. Very interesting frog. So, yeah. something very interesting I am chasing a what appears to be a cow killer or also known as a velvet ant there she is there she goes now I should mention this these are not ants these are actually a uh, wasp I'm trying to get to her but she is so fast she is so fast to get to her yes yeah, so I know it was a female because the females are on the ground and the males are always in the air because the males have, the, have wings, females don't. And, ma and males, they don't sting. And females, they do sting. So, that was her. They're too fast to, to get by. They're a really interesting type of wasp that are known as a ground wasp. And I've seen coyotes video about them when they sting. Uh, they have a very long stinger. It's very painful too. I uh, couldn't get to her in time. They were too fast. I may come across another one if I ever get a chance to see one. Yeah. So far, a good start. Keep going. As you can see, a little dot right there. That's actually a uh, crown thorn spider. The reason why they're called that because you have these uh, these thorns on their abdomen that basically form as a crown. Some have red ones and some have black ones. Let's see. Looks to be a red one. Looks good. It's one of the most common spiders to find. They're harmless, but when you pick them up, they, they, they those thorns will hurt. They feel like thorns. And the good thing about these spiders are actually harmless, so they're so they're not really uh, bad to come across. I love spiders. They're really unique creatures. And I always like. As far as they are very unique spiders indeed. It's very hard to get, get this, this uh, gal in focus, and yes, this is a female. It's pretty, she's pretty big. Yeah, very interesting. Look at that. That's grasshopper. Now, this is not a red leg, this could be a warp biter. It's not really a horse lobber because horse lobbers are black. Dark black. This is a different species. This could be a warp biter, I don't know. But it's very unique. And these are predatory grasshoppers. They eat other insects. They also eat crops too. They're omnivores. They're really unique grasshoppers. They're one of the biggest grasshoppers that we have around here. I've seen horse lobbers this big before. These are very pretty. Grasshoppers. They won't bite if you pick them up. And their bites will hurt. It's a very unique grasshopper indeed. Look at that. Beautiful. Another, another good find to find in the National Forest. Looks like I'm doing so far, but I haven't found any snakes yet. So far, it's pretty hot. Hopefully, a snake will come out. Right there is a giant rubber fly. One of the most common flies that we have around here. Now I should mention this, they they only bite when they feel threatened. They rarely bite humans. And I don't want to stay here too long because I'm because there's deer flies flying around me. So I better do this quick. Very unique flies. Any fly indeed, and these are predatory flies. They 
they hunt they hunt other insects and stuff. Deer, deer flies buzzing all over me. Let's get this quick. Don't want to get bit by a deer fly because it's a really nasty bite. Anyway, it's a very cool fly. Let me get out of here. That is a red leg grasshopper. I saw the red legs so on the end of their legs. That's why you get their name, red leg grasshopper. So one of the biggest grasshoppers that we have here. This looks like it to be this looks like to be a, a full, almost a full grown adult. Between a male or a female, I don't know. It's maybe a female. I think the males are bigger. That's what I heard. But it's a very beautiful grasshopper in here. Anyway, start taking pictures of this grasshopper. So we move on the way. Look at that, my first snake in Connecticut National Forest. It's a dusky pygmy rattlesnake. That is amazing. That's awesome to see a dusky pygmy rattlesnake here in the Connecticut National Forest for the first time. That's awesome. I remember one time when me and my friend found a dusky pygmy rattlesnake that was in Florida. I finally got to see a dusty house in, in Alabama. That is amazing. To see one in South Alabama, that's awesome. I finally get to see a pygmy rouse snake. I finally can see a dusky pygmy rouse snake. And it looks to be some sort of male in his tail. It looks like he already ate something. All right, it's awesome. My first snake and my first venomous snake to come across. That is amazing to come across this snake in Connecticut. For, in Connecticut. National Forest. That's awesome. I'm gonna take more pictures of this snake and probably hit on more to his trail. This is awesome. I found a snake here in very hot weather. It's awesome. It's amazing. I'm so happy about this. I'm in my tent right now and uh, got the light on. Let's see. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm some bugs. So I can try to do some educational, you know, educational bugs in the tent here in the natural forest. See, if we got any visitors, see, oh, yeah, we got one. It's actually a lightning deal. Yeah, I use our treasure to like all the time. Yeah. I think there's a moth in here. Got another visitor. That's a mayfly. Look at that. It's a mayfly right there. It's a mayfly. Another bug type of light. It's amazing. And some more. Little moth right there. Got inside my tent. I don't know if you can barely see it, but it's a spider. Right there. Spider right there. Let me see it. Spider right there. Be here. I found a barking tree frog. Barking tree frog. I found one in the shower. I found there was three of them actually in there. So I'm getting some pictures of this guy. Maybe I found one this morning. It was like actually three of them in the shower. So it's amazing. It's actually beautiful. I see a barking tree frog for the first time. I've never seen a barking tree frog until I came until today. It's actually beautiful. All right, I'm get some pictures of this guy and then I'm gonna go. Okay. Here we are again. Back to the tent. Some, you know, night visitors come to our tents. I got the light on. So I got the light on the antenna on, so yeah. You know, I'll get some night visitors and see what we got here so far. Another light 
Yeah, be the one. Yeah. I saw a spider here somewhere. Well, uh, not too much creatures, so I guess. Hello again, guys. Uh, Herbie and Gang, like a national forest. And look at this. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at, look at these strange, like. Bumps on a leaf. Now these are not really like berries or anything like that. These are actually bumps that appear on a leaf when they grow, when they don't grow properly. So some kind of fungus is like you know attacking these leaves. Some kind of fungus, I believe. It's very interesting to see these kind of things on leaves. Never seen anything like it before. It looks like a berry, but it's not really a berry at all. Look at there, a little visitor, some kind of cricket, some kind of grasshopper leaf, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not sure if I'll take pictures of it and show you, show it to you so be better. This is a cricket frog, one of the most common frogs to find here in Alabama. They are very fast jumpers. It's very quick with this kind of guy. I'm gonna take pictures of this guy and move on my way. I found my pond here. I'm gonna check and see what's over there. Okay. I am soaked. <laughs> it is. It is. It was raining. I had to run to my car. I can't believe it rained during this camping trip. Yeah, and this is going to be my last day, by the way, for a connecting out of I could, well, I, I did find some interesting wildlife, but I couldn't really find what I was actually really looking for, like the eastern diamondback or eastern coral snake. But at least I should get to find some interesting things around here. Tomorrow I'll get to leave. Yeah, I get to leave. I get to go back home. But anyway, I had fun here. I had a fun trip here. Now I go back to my campsite and just... I sit in my car until it stops raining. Yeah. Anyway, Hunter Ivy, thanks for watching my Hunter Ivy for Tile Events. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Remember when I said this would be my last day? Well, well, this is still my last day, but anyway, I found me another snake. This is a ringneck snake. It's probably a sudden ringneck. From the uh, bottom coloration, that's two snakes. But actually, I found three snakes. Uh, I saw one earlier, not too long ago, and I couldn't get it in time. It just it just ran into the water. It's probably a water snake. Couldn't really get it. But anyway, I found me another snake. This is my second snake that I come across. I'm going to take some pictures of this guy and then move on my way. Maybe I'll find more snakes. You're a beautiful snake, aren't you? This is a brown, well, it's a ground skink. It's called ground skink. It's full grown. Very small skink, and they're very fast, too. Very interesting, they're very common, too. Most fastest skinks ever to catch. Hey, you're a little big one, aren't you? 
That's how big it gets. This is this is how big it gets. So it's really common. I'm not gonna take any pictures of this guy because number one, they're too common, and on top of that, um, too fast. So I'm not. I'm just gonna let this guy go. I'll take a picture of this right there. Yeah, I'll take a, uh, point a tree. I think this is a squirrel tree frog. I'm not quite sure. It's a barking tree frog. I know barking tree frogs are more like a dark green with green spots. So I came across a barking tree frog the other day. I'm pretty sure it's a squirrel tree frog. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'll find out later, soon, soon later. Anyway, this is Hunter Iver for Top Events, and thanks for watching this trip on Connect National Forest. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.